Welcome to CTPAT Security Services Triggers for Additional Scrutiny Training. Company employees who are involved with screening business partners, processing shipment documents, or analyzing business partner data and shipping data should watch for activities that may signal suspicious activities are taking place. Dishonest people have been known to set up shell companies or utilize other resources for the purposes of conducting fraudulent business activities. Verification of a business's existence and validating the facts that they've provided with other third-party sources is a good first step in preventing fraud. In the course of interacting with uh, the companies you deal with, here are some things to watch for. Number one, no information confirming the individual or business exists. Number two, no confirmation or current business operating status. Number three, discrepancies with start date, business licensing, and tax registration. Number four, a mail drop location is misrepresented as an actual business location. And number five, the, the provided address information is inconsistent with public records. Number six, the business location is not equipped to conduct the stated business operations. And number seven, different businesses share a very common name, same telephone number, and the same address. Number eight, the business's background is characterized by things such as convictions for fraud or theft, They've been in business for years, but there are no payment experiences, such as no telephone bill, no office supplies, or electricity bill. Number nine, the payment experiences don't match the standard industry business-to-business -business profile for comparable firms. Number 10, the company has been making attempts to hide negative information. Keep in mind that from a management perspective, the background and character of the CEO and other key executives can reveal past behaviors that could impose risk on a current or future business transaction. Frequent management turnover is also a factor to be considered. Here are some other things to keep in mind regarding company management. Number one, the executive background is characterized by risks such as convictions for fraud or theft. Number two, the business's principal officer or officers are linked to other confirmed higher risk or failed businesses. Number three, it's a one person operation. There's only one executive listed as the employee, but it's operating a million dollar plus business. Number four, executives at the company are linked to multiple similar businesses including several inactive ones in operation for a short period of time. And number five, there is frequent management turnover. Financial information can often uncover signs indicating that criminal organizations may have infiltrated a company. Here are some financial things to watch for. Number one, there's no record of a line of credit or secured financing extended to the business. Number two, documents showing evidence that the company has been involved in questionable trade experiences in the past. Number three, the credit references provided are from companies that have already been determined to be high-risk businesses. Number four, financial data the company provided is misrepresented or altered. Number five, there is no indication that the company has any accounts or customers. Number six, the company is involved in a high number of lawsuits, liens, and judgments. And number seven, financial stress scores show that the company will probably be out of business within the next 12 months. In short, you should always watch for things that are not normal, and when these abnormalities are discovered, you must report them to your supervisor so that a proper investigation can be conducted.